not a whole lot else to say really about this one in particular. So let's take a look and compare the D-Lab here. So we've got a five meter in the uh, unit. We've got a six and a half meter in the D-Lab. And if you look at, you know, kind of the forward profile of these, the first thing you'll notice is the leading edge diameter is pretty similar between these, despite the fact that the D-Lab is a meter and a half larger. Uh, so that's not because it just stays the same across the range, it's because the D-Lab here actually has a narrower diameter leading edge. And they can do that because of the Alula material here, this fancy uh, gold looking stuff here that really is super lightweight. This 6.5 is noticeably lighter even than that five, which is a super light wing and it's crazy stiff. This stuff has just such neat properties that it's perfect for a wing frame, a bladder frame here. And they can reduce that diameter. It gives you better top end, uh, reduced drag, just more efficiency in general, better upwind ability. So this one really does help address that pitfall of the unit, which is that compressed range uh, by reducing some of that adding some top end range, adding some rigidity so when you are riding overpowered, the wing's not deforming and wanting to drag you downwind because it's losing that forward pull, that forward traction. Um, so really big fan of the D-Lab. It is not a cheap date, but for those of you that have the budget, this is without question a worthy upgrade. It's something that you will not ever, ever regret. It is such a good construction and we've had such a blast on these wings it's really hard to go back to anything else after flying one of these because it is just so well behaved so lightweight so high performance um, but new riders don't be afraid of it either because it does still have that low end grunt and that way you just have all kinds of progression to grow into with your wing uh, and cover a bit more range so yeah the the d lab lakers mamba colorway here is beautiful obviously it matches the sls boards from duotone this year uh, which is their high-end carbon construction boards so this is a really neat kind of matchy matchy set if you're into that uh, all the other details really remain the same same handles same inflation same all that same canopy even windows etc uh, so really the only big change here is the alula material in the frame as well as that slightly reduced diameter uh, of the frame because you can do that with that material. Um, so those are our two units, the unit and the unit D-Lab. Uh, after riding these, my impression again is just that this is such a great wing for everybody. If you love the unit, you're gonna love these even more. If you're a person that in the past has been curious about a unit, but gone with a slick because of the boom, and that ease of handling and that one hand ability. I think, you know, this year is a really intriguing year to give the units a go, especially if you're somebody that wants increased surf performance, increased grunt, uh, more height in jumps. Um, this is a wing that's gonna do that for you. The slick, of course, is still the winner in terms of speed and efficiency upwind. It's still gonna be that racier wing for those racer type people. But if you have a more versatile, type of performance you're looking for. If you're a brand new rider looking for a wing that you can grow into and you're really not sure, you know, if you're die hard about speed, you're more interested in waves and jumping and free ride tricks, the unit is your wing. This is your go-to and really can't say enough good about this thing. It's fantastic. If there's anything bad I could say about it, I guess I would say the D-Lab is a pricey, pricey date. You can buy two of most other wings for the price of one D-Lab. Uh, but, you know, that's the price of technology. That's the price of performance. You could have a Honda Civic, you know, or you can have a supercar. If you're into cars and you have the money, you're probably going to buy the supercar. And that's what this wing is. Uh, if you're after something that's like, hey, maybe I want, you know, a Mazda Miata where I can feel like, you know, for an everyman, I'm kind of in a supercar. Uh, but something that's on, you know, an average budget. That's our unit here, man. It is really fantastic. It's not a huge compromise as compared to the D-Lab. It's not that creme little uh, de la creme, but it's darn close. Uh, if there's anything bad I had to say about the unit, uh, design in general, you know, again, it's not 
a huge top end range. You're not going to take the five out when it's blowing 40. Um, at least I'm not, <laughs> maybe somebody else would, but I definitely wouldn't. And I normally ride my wings really overpowered. So that's saying something. Um, they also, you know, for new riders, for somebody that's dropping their wing a lot, they have a propensity to flip on their back like this because of the dihedral that they have in them. They do have quite a bit of dihedral in this wing. Uh, so when you leash out, if it's fairly windy, chances are it's gonna kind of rock and then roll over if you don't grab it right away. You know, for most experienced riders, it's kind of a non-issue because you're not leashing your wing out hardly at all, unless you have a really nasty crash. You know, a lot of times you kind of hang on to your wing or when you're getting started, getting on your board, you already have your hand on the leading edge. So it's really not, you know, making any big difference. Um, so that's kind of, yeah, my crappy uh, way of saying that I really like this wing. There's not a lot bad I can say about it. Um, you know, they can always make it faster, stronger, longer, but uh, in terms of where the market's at right now, where all the other brands are at, this is in the top echelon of wings for sure. Um, so this has been Tucker with MattKiteboarding.com. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comment section below. If you stuck around with the video this long, I'm going to give you a uh, reminder here because I did go over a lot of stuff. If you're buying one of these wings, you're going to need to buy a leash. You're going to need to buy a pump adapter if you don't already own those. So just remember if you're going to go ahead and put one of these in the checkout cart. If you don't already own that stuff, be sure to put those in there or you're gonna be a sad little rider when it comes down, dragging it to the beach, pumping it up, not even gonna be able to pump it up. If you manage to get it pumped up somehow, you're not gonna have a leash. So make sure you plan for that, get what you need and you'll be ready to ride. Take care.